is just like me in camera form. So if this appeals to you, you might want to subscribe. Hey guys, it's Paige. Today I'm doing something I don't usually do, which is a tutorial, especially an editing tutorial because editing is not my strongest suit, but I'm learning a lot about editing and um, all of the really cool things you can do on Adobe Premiere Pro that are new and innovative and adapting to all of the new platforms for content out there. So there's a lot to learn about and I really enjoy learning. So that's why I'm excited to share this tutorial with you. This is about IGTV and IGTV is super cool because it allows you to upload a long form video to your Instagram. So that's a video up to 10 minutes that you can do on your Instagram profile. It's insane, like this changes the game. Today, I'm gonna show you how to format a video for IGTV because IGTV is vertical video only. Um, you can turn it, but it will turn with you. So you, you would have to do this to watch something. It's no, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do vertical videos and I'm gonna show you how to change a video from horizontal to vertical, from landscape to portrait, okay? So here we go, let's go into it. So I've got a new project open here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a brand new sequence. And when I open this, um, the settings that I generally choose for open, creating a new sequence are um, DSLR, 1080p, that's HD format, and then I do um, 30 frames per second. So you just click there. Um, don't click OK yet. Let's name this. So this is actually my IGTV YouTube trailer. So I have my new YouTube trailer. I'm gonna format it for IGTV and put it up there, okay? Now before you click OK, still don't click it yet. I know you want to, it's so tempting. Click over here to settings at the top. And we are just gonna flip the settings of this because the general video that you will edit in Adobe Premiere Pro, the only videos I've ever edited in the past in Premiere Pro have been um, 16 to nine ratio, but we want it to be nine to 16 because then we'll get that vertical format. So we're just gonna switch these two numbers. So we're gonna do 1080 by 1920. And now you guys, we can click okay. All right, so now you see right here, this is our IGTV size. This is the aspect ratio for IGTV. So fun, it's vertical. Weird, because when I first started doing this kind of work, I always told people, don't shoot in vertical. Nobody watches vertical video. And now like so many things are in vertical video. So that shows you how much everything's changing, right? Um, okay, so let us, We've got our project right here. I'm going to import the video that I want to be using. So it's in my YouTube trailer. It is this one right here. So we're gonna import this, and then we are going to drag it and drop it right over here into our timeline, let go. Now make sure when this warning comes up, you keep existing settings. This is the work we just did to make sure it is a vertical video aspect ratio. So just click keep existing settings. Now your video will do its best to try to fit into that box, but as you can see, it's bigger, um, it's wider than that box. So all you do is just bring it in here. I shrink it down to be just touching the edges of that. So that looks good. Um, okay. So you could just play your whole video here and that could be it, right? Now you do have another option. If you wanted to make it the size of the, um, of the vertical video, you just expand it like this and then hit it to be this size. However, my video has all these graphics on the side and I wanna show them in the IGTV video. So I, um, I don't wanna lose that. And that's really important to me. So that's why I have to show this whole, the entire video. So now you've got these two black bars on the top and bottom. It doesn't look that great. You totally could upload it like this, fine. But I like to do some something a little more fancy. Now here's one thing that you could do is you could change this background to be um, your brand color or you could change it to be white. I moved um, this main video up to 
V2 because down here I'm going to put the background. So you're going to grab, or I'm sorry, you're going to go to, um, what are we going to do? Oh yeah, new, sorry, new. And then, so file, new, and then color matte. And then just click OK because it's going to be all those sizes. And like, let's say I wanted it to be my brand colors exactly. It would be like that. Click OK, color matte. I will drag and drop that color matte right here onto the first line. And there you go. That's intense. <laughs> this is a lot for someone to look at. Now you could totally change the color match just by double clicking it, make it totally white. Um, you can change it, you know, halfway through, whatever. It's fine. Oops, what do I do? Okay, yeah. So you could change that color mat. I don't wanna use a color mat. I wanna do something a little bit more uh, professional, let's say, so we'll delete that. And I am going to um, first control, click control, and then click on this, uh, on, on your clip. <laughs> Why am I forgetting words right now? And then go to here to unlink. So that just unlinks this from the audio so you can move it independently of the audio. Uh, now I am going to actually copy it. So you push command copy, or you can go up here to edit copy as well. And then I'm just gonna um, right over here, command paste. And that doubles up my video right there. So I'm gonna move this one, this top one over just so I know that I am playing around with this first one right here. I'm gonna expand it like I did before to the exact size of the vertical video. And that is gonna take up the entire background, right? So there you go, right there. Awesome. And then when I move that back, let's move it back, you've got the video playing behind your main video that you want people to watch, okay? And it's just gonna run through that whole thing. Now, I think it's a little distracting when the video is crystal clear and you're like, why are you behind you in bigger form? So we're gonna go into effects and go to video effects, go down to Blur and Sharpen, you're gonna open there, and then you're gonna go to Gaussian Blur, and then drag and drop that on the V1, on the first layer of footage. Double click it, and you'll be able to go into the Effects panel over here, and we're gonna ramp up the blurriness of the background. Look at that, isn't that great? So, um, you know, I like to make it around 200, and there's just this like hint of the video playing in the background. It's not distracting, it's not jarring, it works really well, it moves along with the video that you're watching. So it's just really, it's good for the eye. Um, it also makes your video kind of pop a little bit rather than having this like plain background on the back. It just keeps it, keeps the eye engaged. Okay, so I like to keep it like that. And then, Sometimes you wanna add like a title or something here. So I'm gonna do a new legacy title and I'm just gonna say, um, I'm gonna title it YouTube video, oh sorry, yeah, new YouTube video. And I can actually make this title the same for every one of my new YouTube videos and then just plug in my the video every time I have a new one out. So new YouTube video. Um, let's do this as like Futura, change the font there. Let's make it a little heavier. Um, new YouTube video, we're gonna center that and then we're gonna center it here. So these are just, you know, play around with these. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanna make this heavier actually. Let's do like extra bold, boom, boom, boom. Change the color, FD, 2 DCA, cool, dun, dun. And then you've got your new YouTube video, awesome. So we're gonna X out of that. We're gonna drop that right in here. And I'm actually gonna expand that over the entire video. So, So the entire time the video plays, this title is going to be on there. Let's say I wanted to change the title halfway through. We'll double click the title. I click here. I use this uh, feature a lot. New title based on current title. It's basically just going to duplicate 
your title, you get to rename it. I'm going to call it subscribe. Okay. I'm going to select it and just change it. Subscribe. Cool. Subscribe link in bio. And then that goes right here. So and then we'll expand that to the end. So it's going to go from this title to this title. Um, and now, you know, you can add a drop shadow. You can play around with it so that it, it stands out a little bit more. Um, that's probably what I will end up doing once I get out of this, once I've finished with this tutorial. Why did I just delete it? I didn't mean to delete it. Oh no, come back. There we go. Control Z, Command Z is gonna be your best friend sometimes. <laughs> Command Z and Command S, because you always wanna save your project. Um, yeah, and then we'll just do like a quick uh, transition in between those. So you're gonna go to video transitions. We'll just do a, a quick cross dissolve in between those two so that when it plays, it's like not too jarring and you can see, there you go. So there you go. That is how you format a video for IGTV or really any video that you want to make from turn from horizontal format into vertical format. That's how you do it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and then also follow me on Instagram because I am there too, obviously. And who isn't? Because if you're not, where have you been living? Where's that rock you've been living under? So come follow me on Instagram at Page Media and let's connect over there. I'll see you next time.